guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Good morning! Currently 5 a.m. Very, very early. Today we're gonna have an amazing, productive day and you guys are coming along with me. I have a lot of stuff that I want to get done today, so let's get this day started. <laughs> It's go time, baby. We're now off to the gym, feeling good. Let me tell y'all, I almost did not get out of bed today. I was this close to not getting up, but I told myself just get up and go. I know how great I feel after I work out in the morning. It literally just sets my tone for the day. It makes me feel amazing. And also I love doing my morning routine, like waking up, drinking water, journal, and praying. Those are like my favorite things to do in the morning. So it kind of gives me something to look forward to, not only like and kind of helps me wake up in the morning if that makes sense but yeah i'm gonna chug this energy drink right now i'm gonna play some hype music and we're gonna have a great leg day at the gym let's go Workout complete. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, that workout was so tired. <laughs> but it was good. I did legs and then also a mile and a half on a treadmill. So I'm feeling good. If you guys watched my last video, I told you guys I'm trying to do more cardio in my workout. So every time I go to the gym, I'm trying to do like at least a mile alternating between walks and sprints. So it honestly feels so good. Like running, I feel so fast. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I finally made a workout playlist because before I did, I would just like shuffle random songs. But now I actually have my own. So check out my Spotify at Nicole Leno. It's called Gain Season and it's a bunch of hip hop and rap. And then also I have another playlist called Dance Baby Dance and it's a bunch of like house upbeat songs that I run to and it's so good it keeps me going yeah I literally would not survive without music at the gym okay anyways I'm on my way home it's so foggy today usually when I walk out of the gym at this time it's all like pretty the sun just rose but not today it's like really gross <laughs> it's really gloomy but it's okay when I get home I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat and then take a shower and get ready for school Okay, you guys, time to get ready. Another favorite part of my morning routine. But I took a shower, washed my hair and everything, and now I'm gonna do my makeup. Today is Tuesday, January 16th, by the way. And I always like doing my leg days on this day because I have late start at school. So I have a lot more time to get ready, do my hair, because I always sweat the most when I do legs. But anyways, while I do my makeup, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I stay motivated, disciplined to be productive. Because I get questions about this all the time. So I'm just gonna tell you all of my advice right now. First things first, mindsets. It's very important to note that you have to rely on your discipline and not your motivation because at the end of the day you're not always going to be motivated but you can train yourself to be disciplined and by train yourself I mean work on the ways that you think and talk to yourself so for me 2024 I've been trying to do a lot of positive mindset shifts two really important ones at the moment are just get up and go would the best version of myself do or say this phrases like that I constantly just remind myself and repeat to myself throughout my days and it literally like keeps me in check and keeps me disciplined recently I just wrote all of them on post it notes and stuck them to my mirror that's at my desk because I always pass by that area and I'm always working there so when I do I read those and again they're like little reminders for myself one mindset shift I've been trying to do is it's easy and this could work for literally any aspect of life you have a bunch of homework it's easy, just do it. Wake up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym, it's easy, just do it. And obviously it's easier said than done, but already having that phrase in your mind rather than like, oh my gosh, it's so hard, I can't do this. Just tell yourself that it's easy and that you can achieve it. And I swear it works wonders. Like the way that you talk to yourself and the way that you train your mind to think will make the biggest difference. Another way you can kind of train yourself and make yourself more disciplined is the days that you don't want to do stuff, especially do stuff. For example, like this morning, I was really contemplating if I wanted to get up and actually go to the gym, but over 
the past few months, I've kind of like trained myself to just be like, nope, we're going. So it's really important on those days, especially to just get your stuff done and do it. Because if you could do it on the hardest days, then it's just going to get easier and easier over time. Next, I want to talk about to-do lists and planners. I've talked about this so many times on my channel and you guys know how much I love my to-do list, but I'm telling you, they work so well. They may not for everyone, but if you haven't tried it before, I definitely recommend doing so. Basically, every single night before a new day, I will set a to-do list for myself and write down all the tasks that I want to achieve. Literally starting from waking up at this time, journaling, Bibling, getting ready, a bunch of those little tasks that I know if I get done throughout my day, I will feel so productive and motivated. I'll show you guys later in this video my to-do list for the day, but it honestly just like sets my day, gives me a laid out agenda, and when I finish everything, I feel so, so accomplished. So find a system that works out for you. It could literally be on a random piece of paper, writing down your to-do list. I do it on Notion. You could do it in the notes app in your phone. You can buy a literal like physical planner for yourself, find what works for you and stick to it. Next we have routines. Set good routines for yourself. I feel like I can't stress this enough. The most successful people in the world are the ones that have routines and it's because they have things to look forward to and things to work toward to every single day. They create habits for themselves and stick to it. And again, like the to-do list stuff, they achieve so much by just having a routine. My tips for routines are make them enjoyable and efficient. For example, my morning routine, every time I wake up, I will turn on a light and automatically just like sit up. That's efficient because if I don't do that, I'll just fall back asleep and we don't wanna do that. So I've trained myself to automatically when my alarm goes off, get up right away. So there will be no chances of me falling back asleep. And then the enjoyable parts, like I was mentioning earlier, the first three things I do in the morning are drink water, journal, and then Bible study. And I literally love, love, love that part of my routine because it's just like quiet time for myself. You know, I'm still waking up, trying to start my day off right and doing those things, do exactly that. The water bottle and journals that I use are right on my nightstand, so it's easy access. And then the Bible studying that I do, it's an app on my phone. So in order to make it a habit and be consistent, I've made it efficient and easy for myself to do these things. And again, I enjoy them. So I look forward to waking up and doing them. And last thing I want to mention are off days. Obviously not every single day is gonna be productive. I know I show a lot of productivity on my channel and that's because I wanna promote that and it's a big part of my life. But at the same time, not every single day looks like what this day looks like. Let me tell you guys, yesterday I had the biggest off day and you could ask my family to prove that because <laughs> I was not in the best mood. But like I slept in more than I wanted to. I was just like really tired and exhausted. Didn't have the greatest mindsets and overall, I don't know, I don't even know what happened. I was just like moody, not my best self, let's say that, but it's okay. The important part is knowing that that's okay because we're gonna have those days where not everything we want to goes our way or we're not our most productive selves or maybe it's better to just rest and not be as busy as we think we should be. Plus we have bad days so that the good days can make up for them. So like yesterday at the end of the night, I was like, all right, today was not the best day. I know that, but that just means tomorrow is a new day and I can make it better than today. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. I woke up early, did my gym morning routine and I'm gonna try to keep all of my positive mindsets in my head throughout the day so that I can make today amazing. But overall, find stuff that works for you. Find routines, plans that will make your days easy and efficient. Work on training your discipline and relying on that rather than motivation. And know that it's okay to not always be productive every single second. All you can do is just try your best and that's all that matters. But I just finished my makeup. Now I'm gonna do my hair with the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm just gonna like blow it out real quick and then I'll show you guys my outfit. Outfit of the day. It's actually a spirit week at my school this week and today's theme is comfy clothes and sidekick day. I'm wearing this blue and orange white fox hoodie and then these sweatpants. They're super cute. They're from Princess Polly. They're just white and they have like a bunch of graphics. And then my sidekick of the day, I'm bringing my Lola Bunny jelly cat. She's so cute. She's literally adorable. By the way, her name is Lola Bunny because obviously she's a bunny, but my Lola got me her for Christmas. So Lola Bunny. One you guys commented that and requested when I asked for names for my bunny and I was like that is literally genius so yeah I'm gonna be walking around school like this the whole day okay I'm basically ready for school I don't have to leave for like another hour though so I'm going to edit and make my thumbnail for today's video it's Tuesday so that means it's a posting day I edited for like five hours last night and I'm basically done I just have to add my finishing touches and do my little intro and then also do my thumbnail but literally you guys changing my posting time from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. has literally changed my life like I don't know why I didn't do that sooner before this I would wake up at like 2 in the morning on Tuesday so that I could get my video up at 7 a.m. like now I can go to the gym get ready for school finish editing not stress because it goes up 12 p.m. so that's another thing like when you set your routines or do your to-do list make sure your day like makes sense make sure it's manageable and realistic and it's actually beneficial because when I posted at 7 a.m. it was definitely not beneficial I would wake up and then be tired for the rest of the day 
it was just not it. So I'm very happy that I changed my posting schedule. All right, anyways, I'm gonna finish editing, do my thumbnail, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, just finished, and I wanted to show you guys my to-do list so far. Here's just a quick look at my Notion, but this is my to-do list, and look how much we've gotten done already. Like, I always do even the little stuff, like wake up at 5 a.m., make my bed, drink my energy drink, like stuff like that. And now I feel even more motivated to like finish the rest of my to-do list, and I feel already accomplished, and it's not even 9 a.m. yet. Oh, and also peep my mindset post-its. Love them. But we've had a really great productive morning so far. Just gonna pack my bag and we are off to school. All right, time for school. It's currently 9 a.m. on the dock. This is like the perfect time. Mm, actually, usually I leave a little bit earlier, but it's fine. I'm heading to my math teacher's class though because we have our last quiz of the semester, you guys. This is the last quiz before the final. That's literally terrifying. By the way, I will be vlogging finals week, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, our quiz is tomorrow. So I've just been going into his room every single morning just for some extra help and to ask him questions about anything that I need to. Oh my God, and it's so cute guys my math teacher started calling me coley and i'm li like every time he says it, i die like i love when people call me coley and i just think it's so cute anyways <laughs> yeah i'm gonna head to this room right now and let's get this school day going i feel it it's gonna be a good day Because we're productive AF. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you stuff. Me? Yeah. Well, I need, I feel like you're the only one that can understand. Okay, tell me. Week, which is in like the beginning of February, but before projects we always do publicizing and like posters. So Mac and I are doing some Geek Week posters. She's helping me. <laughs> Look at her pair of glasses. Wait, this just... looked really good until I did. That's what I'm saying. Make, you should have did it like that. Longer. Okay. But yeah, here's mine. There's Max. Super cute. Guys, I wanted to show you. <laughs> Okay, so I got her this for her birthday, and this is our stuffed animal that we're gonna bring to college <laughs> to remember each other. By. No, yeah, Nicole texted me one day. She was like, "We should get matching stuffed animals to take to college." And I'm like, "You're right." Like, he started crying about that thought, but like, aren't they so cute? They are so cute. They represent us. I agree. <laughs> Okay guys, I finished school. It's 1.30 right now. I'm about to head home. Today was like fine. <laughs> I don't know. I think I need a rant. Trust me, I'm trying to be the least negative as possible at all times. I feel like just as a senior, <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling it. More and more every single week. It's just kind of like, how do I explain it? I'm like tired of being here. <laughs> And again, I love school and everything it provides. I love seeing my friends, getting my work done. I think I'm just like slowly just being over it. I don't I don't know how else to say it. I've said this in a recent school vlog. Like all I want to do is just go get my stuff done, talk to my friends real quick, and then dip. And that's exactly what I do. But I think now, like I'm almost a second semester senior and it's all just happening. Like it's all getting real. Um... So like I was talking to my friends today about it and I do you think we just want to be done? <laughs> Even though I have like six months left and I know, I know these months are going to go by super quick and there's still going to be like a lot of fun things. <sighs> I don't, I don't know guys. <laughs> Let's just say the senioritis is hitting like none other before. I even called my mom like right after the bell rang. I was like, mother. I basically told her everything I just said. And then she was just like, I think it's kind of normal for seniors to feel this way. Cause it's like, it's like almost home stretch, but it's not. Like we have so much to look forward to. We're kind of just like going through the motions now, which makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I don't know. I hope I'm not the only one. Like, please tell me there are other seniors out there that are kind of feeling like this. Cause again, like I love school. Don't get me wrong, love it so much. But like, can I just be none already? <laughs> Okay, anyways, I'm almost home. I am grateful that I don't have a full schedule and I can just leave at like one. I don't have that much homework today. I just have to study for my math test tomorrow and then also read for lit. But other than that, I think I'm gonna take a nap because I am taking class tonight, going to playground and I'm taking Dexter's again this week, but that's not for a little bit. So I'm just gonna get some work done and then also probably take a nap because it's been a long day already. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Nice. 
nap time. I'm so excited. My bed is literally the comfiest thing ever. Like, I wish you guys could lay in it just for one second. But the reality of waking up at 5 a.m., you come home pretty tired after school. So I'll usually take a nap. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll just be awake. Then those days, I would like to go to bed at like 9 p.m. But like tonight, the dance class I'm going to doesn't start until 8 p.m. And I won't be home until like 10 or 11. So I think a nap is very productive and very needed. We're gonna take like two hour max nap. <laughs> Since I've been like go, go, go all day, this is kind of my time to just like unwind, watch some YouTube, scroll on my phone for a little bit, then I'll knock out and we'll see you when I wake up. So I'll see you guys after my nap. Good morning, part two. It's currently 4.45. Just woke up from my nap, opened my blinds. I feel so much better. Oh my gosh. I love naps so much. Yeah, I slept for like two hours. I just set an alarm on Alexa, but I'm gonna get up now and do some homework and study. Okay, <clears throat> time to grind. Like I said in the car, I just have to study for math and then read a little bit. Math quiz, I'm gonna watch some videos from the Organic Chemistry Tutor, favorite YouTube channel. And then also I'm gonna get my whiteboard out and I'm gonna just do a bunch of practice problems. Right now we're on integration, which is like antiderivatives, if anyone cares. So yeah, let's get this done. Time for dance. Finished all my homework. Just ate dinner. My mom made some chicken adobo and it was so, so good. But I just finished getting ready for the night. We're gonna leave soon. The class is at eight and here's my outfit. LA hat, tank top from Princess Polly, pants from White Fox, and then my little Lulu belt bag. I'm just gonna refill my Stanley and I'm so excited. <laughs> girl looks rough okay guys i'm back home don't mind the hair the hat hair <gasps> hi sadie hi. Hi. hi 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 but class was so good you guys i literally love dexter so much he's so funny he's so good and his classes are always his classes are always a push but guess what i have canes this is my post dance class meal i got a three finger combo and some lemonade but it's literally 11 15 and i'm so tired my body's beat so i'm gonna eat this and then do my nighttime routine and then knock the heck out because i need more sleep so yeah i'm gonna finish my food and then we'll unwind for the night you guys time for me to say peace out just gonna do my nighttime prayer real quick and then get some good sleep but today was a good day we were super productive got a bunch of things done and i hope this gave you a little motivation if you needed it if you guys stay till the end of this video comment down below the bunny emoji because of lola bunny of course but thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment down below subscribe to my channel subscribe to the family channel and turn on all of the post notifications i'll see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive bye